Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Lounge Academy. My name is Howard. I will be your captain this evening. Actually, I'm not the captain. The real captain's going to be here. Because you know why? Because the cops are coming tonight. Um, see this? Look at. See, we got this satellite bar set up, and there's a, a buffet, and we got Ryan and Mary in the buildings, and uh, I'm pretty psyched up. They're coming at six. But it's a regular night. They're coming to Lounge Academy. So you're invited as usual. Uh, schedule's the same. 5 o'clock to 7.30 here at the, the uh, Hyatt Regency Buffalo. And what I'm going to do right now, before we get into the real entertainment meat of the show, is I'm going to try to find uh, the live stream myself so I can share it to my own Facebook profile you would think this would be easy to do and it's not um, see it's not letting me do this who shared this share is this going to work See, this is, it's very difficult to figure out how to share this when you're me. It's difficult when you're me to do this. But I, I sit here and I fool around with it until I get it. And then, then we start the show. Okay, I think I got it. Um, share to feed. Okay, I'm writing the post here. I know I know this is exciting. Here we go. I've now accomplished this. And I'm gonna look at my po my page to see if it's working. And I don't see it. See so if I don't do this, people complain that they couldn't find it. And I don't blame them. Okay, so all it's doing is uh, it, it shared the event. See, I don't want it, I wanted them to see the, the thing streaming. I want them to see the TV show in action. Um, so we'll, we'll try one more time here. Okay, here's the link. I'll try posting the link. Boy, they make this difficult. It's, it's much more difficult than learning to play the piano and tell jokes. Here we go. Okay, I'll write a message so you guys get it. to 7.30. Meet the cops. Big party. Okay. I'll put the where it is. You always put all the who, what, where, whens, whys, what for, who cares, all the five W's of journalism. I know these things. I know a little bit about every profession. Okay, here we go. I think. This is my favorite part of the show where I'm screwing around with this. Okay. 
And uh, one, maybe one of you guys at home could uh, could chat with us, tell us how good the audio is working. Right now we're using the audio on a camera. I'm bringing up my, my phone so I can watch it. Right, you wouldn't believe the number of electrical see. cords I pulled out of the office and threw out. There must have been just this, these cords. Mary almost went, unplugged the whole show. Went to God knows. That would have been great. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, I know. Well, that's what the cords do. <laughs> I kept waiting for the computer to go off in the office thinking I pulled the wrong cord, but it didn't happen. I'm using a very slow phone because my good phone is being used as a camera. Is the eavesdropping mic working today? Um, yeah, I'll turn it on. <laughs> Where does that the come on? Jesus, go right here. This, this is testing my patience. The greatest was on Howard was broadcast from the blue that time, and I put the glass of wine in front of the camera, <laughs> and it stayed there for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The uh, eavesdropping microphone's on, Ryan. Oh, good. Howard, do you remember when I put the glass of wine in front of the camera back at Big Blue once? There oh, yeah. Big glass that happened at least once. <laughs> and it stayed there forever, and you finally go, can you move that glass? Yeah, where the, the wind up all you see is a, a glass of wine. I'll put the uh, full compliment of cameras on while I'm waiting to be able to see the live chat. Well, here we go, Frank. Hi, Frank. They always show a real wine porn picture at the same Oh, thank time. you, Frank. Just like when they're lecturing about sugar, they, draw, they show ice cream. They always have thank you, Frank. Uh, you're sugar certainly sugar the, uh, when they tell you not to eat it. the guy to, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> to have a, a solid remember, opinion I think on five. that. Um, do comment. Martha Stewart says that... Video and audio, great. Okay. Up to three glasses is healthy. Now audio is low. Yeah, that's because <laughs> I'm using the better but you didn't audio. Make any distinction between Men and women. Three glasses a day. Uh, I, I love that woman. I love her. She knows what's what. Yeah, she does. Okay, how, she how's this? I have trouble getting a, this uh, array of, of mics, the real mics, to give a full hot enough signal, Frank. Um, without without peaking so uh, still refining refining that it should be a little bit louder now I could yeah I could see him it's like shaking a spit crank this one up a little okay. I moved the zoom uh, and to h2n from five to six Whatever that means. Whatever that means. It's very technical. I'm trying to, to not be. Just a pain in the ass. People tune in for this part. They do. They tune in. It's telling me can't use this feature right now. Well, well thank you. Thanks, Bob. I'll just use the phone. I think this is most people's favorite part of the show. <laughs> I think it is. Especially we, the techno files. We do get a lot of techno geeks. How are there Manhattan show these days? Is that what you have? Yeah, it's uh, it's okay. <laughs> when I was at Seneca Tower, I had tequila and soda. Oh, well. I was thinking of getting one here until the floor of the Pinot. 
I love how Gary always turned up at one Luckily, the cops aren't getting here until 6. Hey, what are you drinking? He's getting ready to always hunt. You know what you're doing? That beer looked awfully good today. I was thinking of looking into some low carb beers. I was, I, I was, I used to love beer, and when you start thinking about it in the summer, and a beer keeps you busy for a long time. Sipping it, it's. I know they have good low carb beers out now. Well, I see they got the Mick Ultra in the front there. Michelob's light beer and everything was always pretty good. I remember they were always good. It always had a few more calories than the other ones. I don't mind the calories. I just don't want the. I can't. I wonder how many beers the Guinness has. Oh, tons. I used to like Guinness. The Guinness is a low calorie beer. I can't oh, see is the it? show. Is it? That's interesting. Yeah. I used to like it a lot. A lot when of people I was a don't kid. know that. My dad liked Guinness, so I used to drink some. It's low in alcohol and low in calories compared to like your standard. Can't use this feature right now. Budweiser. Oh, that's interesting. You would think it was heavier because it's so rich. Isn't that funny? I wish get it right. But I think, I think Facebook is having a, Boy, that's not good. a problem. Guinness. All right, well, apparently we're, apparently we're on. Beer is just so hearty. Yeah. <coughs> Depending on, you know, you can have your hearty winter beer, you can have your light summer beer. I just remember at the Calumet at that time, which is probably, probably about when I was sick, I, I had just a bad cold and I had to review the band and I couldn't, mm -hmm. I thought nothing was, and I was trying to drink, I thought the orange juice and a screwdriver might make me feel better and stuff, but nothing was making me feel better until I had a beer. Someone gave me a beer and all of a sudden the beer fixed me right up. I've never forgotten that. <laughs> what is this that about? That would do it. <laughs> it just made me, well. <laughs> with a honey brown beer. J.W. Dundee's. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I remember, I think it was, oh, okay, this well, guy I'm we not, knew, Stephen Redreich, was there, and he just yes. handed me this beer. And Facebook seems to be having better. some sort of a problem, but uh, for all I know, we're, we're transmitting and everything is fine from our end, so... Uh, I don't know, maybe you could check your phone just to see if you could see it, Ryan. Um, what kind of phone do you have? You've got an Android, too. Mine are all acting like Facebook is having some weird problem I've never seen before. But uh, that doesn't, which doesn't matter, except I can't see the chats. Look at this. Area closed. Hopefully not the men's room. Oh, good. Oh, oh, what are they saying? Maybe I should just look at your phone. <laughs> you want my or, phone? Would that help? Yeah. Give it a try. the live stream. So I can see what they're saying. So I know what Frank de Cesare is telling me. my own show. Uh -huh. Is 
the audio a little better now, Frank? Well, here, here's a. Uh, I've got different audio conditions, Frank. With this one, my my voice should be, you know, audible, but not necessarily blasting. And I've got the other mic set louder to hear Mary and Ryan, who now that I'm trying to demonstrate the mic for you, is the first time in our. I love what we have Frank just says, a, a distinguished <laughs> documentary filmmaker, and he's taking time out from his busy day to give us advice. On. That's right. We're getting advice from the best. We're a professional best. filmmaker yes. and photographer. Yeah, and he's advising us on our audio. As a matter of fact, we should name him as part of the team, Howard. He should be an audio consultant. I think, I think I'll take liberties and do that. Yes, we we're should gonna, do we're that. We're going to ride Frank's coattails. Yeah, put him on the, on the um, co-host. Yeah, let's add his name. Yeah, yeah ride his coattails. <laughs> the star we pitched our wagon to. <laughs> it's most obvious for you. <laughs> Frank's He's award Apple. winning. He's won awards. <laughs> See, that's, a, that's the way I check up Mike is do uh, audio is to tell a joke. If they laugh hysterically, I know they I know they heard it. <laughs> and if they don't, then I know it must be the audio. <laughs> yesterday the audio. We a, <laughs> Yesterday we seemed to be having a big problem. Nobody could hear you, not because the audio was off, just because yesterday. nobody was paying, not yesterday, last week, last week. Uh -huh. yes, nobody was paying attention to what you were saying, including me. <laughs> including me, too, because were, I were right part of the speaker. Yeah, it kept happening. You were the closest <laughs> one to the speaker. It's like we're married. <laughs> we have known each other a long time. And you were talking to those women there, and they weren't listening to you either. <laughs> That's good, though. That it means I'm doing my job if they're not paying attention to me. <laughs> it means they're just wrapped up in the passion of conversation with, with, <laughs> with other cadets. That's what, a, that's what a good cocktail party is about. You should do the song from Paint Your Wagon. I talk to the trees, but they don't listen to me. You know, I'm not familiar with that one, Mary. That would be a good song I for you, actually. Someone did it on the Muppet Show. It was really funny. And then the trees, oh, they were all the Muppets. The trees came up and go, no, no, we don't listen to him. <laughs> that would be a good song for Howard. Talk to the trees. I yes. think Clint Eastwood sang it. In the the, in the, the Muppet movie. Show, which featured Statler and Hilton. Thank you for the heart. Did it feature I can Statler send it and back. Hilton? It's Mary. Yeah, I'm using Mary's phone. Old men. My oh, oh, how funny. I didn't know that. It's amazing. I love the Muppet Show. Yeah, that stuff. I don't. I didn't know the Muppet Show as much as I knew Sesame Street because I was still a kid who was Sesame Street. Yeah, but I was a little bit older by the time Muppet Show. I was like, my wife, was really cool. This is the calm before the storm. We had a huge party at the bartender's place. Got, got her hands full over there, just getting getting yes. prepared. It's unbelievable. We should just leave out the part about the police and say, look, we were preparing for a drama today, and they've, they've upped. Okay, mine's working again. Yeah, Mary, you can have your phone back. You can chat with her. Is your, yours is working. I'll keep it over here. Don't okay. let me leave it. Yeah. Maybe we could say they finally caught us. Diana Woodruff's checking in. How from sweet. I see that. Toronto. I guess I presume. I wonder when Diana Woodruff will be able to come down here. And see Good us. evening. Back to you. <laughs> Frank was laughing at me and wanting to make him a host. I hope he doesn't think we're not going to do it. We should make people know when there's a heavy hitter involved in yeah. watching our show. We could have all kinds of credits, you know, executive producer. Yes, that's coach. right, executive we, producer, we best boy, and gifter. I don't know if I should waste any notes before people get here. Yeah, I'm going to go get some notes. It's a nice looking drink you got there, Ryan. Ryan, do you know if the Greek festival is on this year? George was wondering. It's got nothing to do with the drink. <laughs> the Greek 
possible. I wanted to know if there. That's even more interesting I, than Ryan's drink. I liked it better when it was called the Hellenic Fest. I do too. But then they had to dumb it down because nobody knew what it was. Nobody that knows. Meant. They always dumb things down. Because that's an interesting no, point, no, though. No one Ryan talks about that. Mary it's true. Talk. It was nicer when yes. it was Hellenic. But I don't know if that's happening. They had I to dumb it down. You guys I would go up and saw. I would love to go. I have not drink I'd like to say hello to my nephew, Jeremy Barone. Yeah, okay, if you don't know. He's a motorcycle racer. Do you go to Allentown? The yeah, Allentown Festival? Yeah. You know, try not to. <laughs> it's, it's really warm in here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and, uh, what? Are you, Are you guys testing? To I'm see? Just talk, I got my own mic. I can whisper to the audience while you guys talk. You're like Joe Biden at a press conference. <laughs> <laughs> so he does. Whispers. <laughs> For the Insiders Club. Why, yes, Howard, this is a Manhattan. <laughs> you? I, I may switch to beer. Because you know what they say. Liquor than beer in the clear. Beer than liquor never sicker. <laughs> I, I don't believe any of that stuff. Gary had a rhyme like that. Beer to wine, you'll be fine. Wine to beer, beware. <laughs> <Something like that. laughs> beer before liquor, you'll never be Something like that. Liquor than beer in the clear. Oh. Beer before liquor is in every year. And then, so the wine must come after the beer. Beer to wine, you'll be fine. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know where the wine fits in between the liquor and the beer. I love this call. It's like red sky at morning. Say what it take warning. And how does that work when you have a shot in the beer? What if you drink a boiler maker like Dodo Green right. used to do? Yeah, a shot in the beer. What if that? Oh. No, go ahead. What if every drink that you have is a shot in a beer? Some people do that. <laughs> a shot in a beer. Do they drink them separately? Um, I, I think so. What is a boiler maker? I think that's where you drop the shot in. Yes. Um, you, I think you drop the whole glass in. It's a yeah. good idea, bro. Because then it weighs itself down and then it goes. But what oh, liquor goes into the, into the shot glass? Irish whiskey. Right? Oh. And that's an Irish car bomb. Now wait, a boiler maker. <laughs> Similar just sounds, idea. That sounds disgusting to me. I like most foods, but it just sounds weird to be dumping whiskey in the beer. And it sounds like it would ruin some two How's very good drinks. How's your new employee working out with uh, Dr. But Brown? that does not matter. I mean, your new associate. And then, uh, the other thing I enjoy is um, the pickle bag, where you do a shot and then you follow up with a chaser of pickle juice. <laughs> Alright, we'll get to that. I was remembering when I was thinking of the Greek festival, but and also my friend was wondering about Allentown. And a friend of picnic or whatever I just said, I would not be immersed. I haven't been to a festival in a long time, and I just remember I used to go to that with my friends back when when I was like 25, you know, at the Niagara Gazette. Oh, and we used to just max, we'd be there all day, and you'd just, we'd make our way home to my drunk because Lawrence in the middle of it, but you know, just, I don't even remember though, I, we used to pace it kind of in a way, you'd be out all day, you'd be drinking constantly, but just, you know, but we'd go into all the bars, and then you'd amble around, I still have some of the things I bought at the festival, we'd always buy like one thing that you'd have in your house, and it was just going to say, it really was fun. I, I don't really go to look at the art so no. much as to wander around and stuff. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. To the house, true pie yes, house. we always did. Always. And um, and then we'd sometimes you'd see somebody you knew on a patio or on a balcony and you'd get to go up. It just not often, but we'd just horse run. We'd used to crash the Seagull Teller and Tom Party from <laughs> that. that was later when I did that. But it really was fun though. And then you'd get sunburned and just it was just fun being out all day. Yes. I remember where the Seagull Teller and Tom Hardy was. Yes. And Con used to come. Oh, at the, in the Allen Street place, Cafe 59. He would get a tuna pita and come up with a mess. Cod would get a tuna pita. <laughs> we never saw Seagull or Caliper. <laughs> Remember when Herb Seagull had that cover story in the Buffalo News magazine? Well, I remember because I worked at the news at that point, and Bud Anselon, who was the editor of the news magazine, a lot of people 
he just he made right decisions in a lot of ways. And the Siegel uh, story, a lot of people at the news, depending on what camp you were in, you know, mocked him out for it. But boy, it got talked about. And Siegel was he was divorced himself then, and he was talking about who he was looking for, you know, meeting his ex boyfriend. She'll be whatever, back for a little while. And I remember all Dr. my Braun. friends, because I was single then, and all my friends, when I came home, my answer was my old fashioned answer, because she was beeping, and it's all my friends going, hey, how about you, Siegel? Special you see party. Siegel? Yeah. Everyone was laughing about party this story, and there were so many things to laugh about. I just thought that would be, that's the greatest feature in a, in a newspaper. There's something that makes people laugh and talk about it. It's funny and gives you something to chew on. There was stuff we didn't know about. And it had a lot of, just all the ingredients were just fun and people were saving it and showing it to people. It's just funny. No, it, none of us knew. It was just funny. Yeah, I bet your next I saw your next house needed a cover. Just lots of, everybody's laughing about it. I'll let you guys hear the conversation a little <laughs> oh, better. Okay. We're talking it's about it's thrilling. It is funny when you get it. And so a good job they did with putting him on the cover and doing that story. We're talking about Siegel, Kelleher, and Khan. Yeah, and when Herb oh. Siegel was on the cover of the Buffalo magazine, and the story that just, I remember, had the whole city talking. It was really funny. I think I'll stand In not a bad way. Hand. Everyone got a kick out of it and out of him. <laughs> See, but he did not <laughs> come in to get the tuna sub that was Khan. Khan got the tuna pita. Got the tuna pita at Cafe 59. Yes. What's with the that. pianist getting up from the piano all of a sudden? The night has just started. He's up from the oh, piano. Yeah. Look at him. He's just <laughs> well, I think nobody's here yet. <laughs> We're here. Yeah, as soon as you said that, then there was a pause in the conversation. Because, you know, you were figuring that the audience at home, oh, rather, Crystal's than, here. rather than listening to you play, they'd rather hear us talk about it. Oh, maybe that's true. We could continue our conversation. Hi, Crystal. the sound now, Barone. I just changed it to the other uh, configuration. With this configuration, you can hear me more than you can hear the people we're eavesdropping on. Oh, look at that food. Ooh, I see grapes. I see cheese. I see fancy cheese. Let's eat it all before they get here. I see cantaloupe too. I like that cart they got to bring it in. Yeah, I do too. They got all that cool stuff here. That's what's cool about a big hotel. Yeah. They're ready for anything. Yeah, grab it. <laughs> right, now I'm bringing up the... <laughs> the cops must be health nuts if that's what they're eating. For those guys, what should our germs be for the cops? For the Buffalo cops? Should it be like... All meat, don't like raw meatballs. Because those are tough guys. I can't see them fatally eating with toothpicks. Eating no, there are all these handsome guys in uniform wandering around. They look Speaking more of military. Speaking handsome guys, here comes. Oh, Dave Lundy. Dave Lundy. Lundy. We were just talking about you, Dave, because I said every time I see the mural of this painting of James Joyce, I think of you. Turning up my joke, my now, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Brenda's watching too. Yeah, well, you are missing. Get down here, Brenda. You're gonna miss a bunch of handsome guys in uh, uniforms that are in great shape. Yeah, we're, there's gonna be a whirlwind little happy hour. All the cops are coming to our party the tonight. Association. They're coming up there. They've got their bars set up, and so they'll be here for 45 minutes. You're, you're really missing out, Brenda. This is like your parents nice to meet you. Opportunity for you. I'm hoping some of the retired guys 
things that I know are here. Oh, that sounds fun. I'm sure it makes a big difference. I hope that Mitch McCarthy gets it in here. And I'm hoping that Dan here right now. And I'm counting on Chief of Detectives Richards, Dennis Richards. I used to work with those guys. Sometimes they'd rescue me. It's Dale Pye. How are you, sir? How are the cars? It's car season for me. That's where Dale comes in. I even took my javelin out for a hell ride. This week. Checking back later when we're in full swing here. Tune in in about one hour's time from Chicago land. I can't believe the weather has turned so much. You'll tell me we're ready to go over with our bikes. Great. Ryan, you're ready, aren't you? After day one, yeah. it automatically just went from being cold to being too hot to do any of the entertainment. Just instantly. Turning my my microphone bias back up. Now I can hog the mic. just tuned in. First of all, congratulations. We are Lounge Academy. That makes you a Lounge Cadet. Ex officio. Just automatically you're a Lounge Cadet, just like that. You don't have to sign anything. every Friday since the beginning of time and for the last 13 weeks was last week 11 weeks or 12 weeks I think it was 12 weeks or was it yeah yeah it was it was an even so today it's 13 and it's Friday the 13th and it's our 13th and the police are coming Yeah, why start now? Make sure I can see all the chats. Sadly, I can. Swipe to reveal. Ooh, that sounds exciting.
Maybe this is working on my page now, too. Since Facebook seems to have fixed itself. There we go. Now I got the big screen to look at. It's saying something about community standards. Exercise doing that job. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that she wields that very heavy tub of ice effortlessly. So if we act up, it's not the cops we're going to have to worry about tonight. Welcome, sir. Bands over here. About time they got me a rhythm section. Those cops look younger every year, don't they? Oh boy, I'm, I'm going to get in trouble tonight. Bring some scotch tape in to protect some of Jacko's. <laughs> now they got so much stuff about community standards and everything that I can't I can't see the can't see the comments. Check, check, check. Good, good, good. Check, check, good. Turn that down. Okay. Ooh. I feel like putting some of that ice in my pockets. Oh, I know. It's so warm in here. Now, they, there, there is air conditioning on. When I go to the other parts of the building, I can feel air conditioning. So, so it's getting, it's getting ramped up. I felt pretty comfortable. Yeah. If you didn't know better, you'd think there was like some randomness to it. You know, the go-go boots with the... Oh, yeah, that was great. You know that he's going places. So if it weren't for 250 cops showing up, of course, we never know. We've had many nights over, over the many years we've been doing this yeah. where, in fact, we usually have this very same conversation oh, in uh, chapter one of the show where we're going, I wonder if it's going to be busy or, or, or not. It's or You just, you just, you just yeah. never know what's going to walk in. Especially if they're wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there could be lounge cadets who do not want to be around the place. The best place to hide from them is right at right like right there. You know, like um Yeah. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. 
Susan's going to take care of this guy. Susan. Oh, man, she was I, I think Susan, thank you. I she's just always found nice that out to me. Myself. She's always really nice to me. Yeah. She likes a night of first. She was complimenting me on my dresses and everything. something out of like a like a fairy tale or something you know this thing was just like did you see that i only i only watched the replay because i, I oh, i'll have to look it up i don't know anything about it so it was a giant the horse if only people, people had paid attention to the bible they could have won a lot of money yeah he was the, the announcers are talking about you know the ones up front and this and that and here he comes from the back and all of a sudden when he turned it on it was like in the final stretch turns it on and it was just like passing here. I mean like flying and they they still weren't even talking until he was like catching up to the lead because no the announcers weren't even looking at him. You know? Yeah. They were so focused on like the top three. They, and they, kind of, wow. They had the just longest like, odds. Eighty to one odds. You know? It was beautiful like poetry wow, and emotion. Then, beautiful animal. Does that mean people thought he was gonna lose it? Right. They, thought he, oh, they okay. thought he was gonna be the biggest loser of all. And he yeah. wasn't even supposed to be in there. It was like a last-minute oh. addition. And then he won? Yeah. What was the name of the horse? It's <laughs> kind of like my, my show business career. They always have weird names. Yeah. My show business All of a sudden, career. I'm the one sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I was always about, voted least to likely to succeed. And I think that's why I like that horse so much. I think that's why everybody relates to that horse. But the thing is that... Everybody it, relates it didn't to look like some klutz like making his way over the finish line. I mean, he looked like, like clearly. It's like seat I mean, I wonder what happens after they get the test results back. I mean, this this thing was like really athletic, right? Yeah. I mean, wow. You know, like wow. I mean, what a great, exciting Kentucky Derby. That's one that people would talk about. Yeah. I mean, I I didn't care. Anything about it, even though like Punk Hamry was posting right from the seat, you know, before it, as it started. Yeah, he was probably there. It's like I'm humoring my friends that are there. It's like, great, better you than me, you know. I was disappointed in the lack of places. Nice to see you, sir. Celebrating. Oh, yeah, people should be celebrating and giving you the mint juleps and stuff. You're first, and that's demonstrating your <laughs> leadership. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and it works out that there way. Is, yeah, I guess they were right. But it's not applicable to every situation. My name's Howard. My name's Howard. Nice to meet you, Howard. I, 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 nice to know you, man. Nice to meet you, Howard. Ryan, my co host, Ryan, and yes, Dr. Dave nice Lundy, and Mary Quinn I like that. Like that. Mary Quinn's yes. Golden from the Buffalo News. You guys probably are. <laughs> yes, I do. I the celebrities all know each other. Actor Dave Bondi. Yeah. I, I, all these guys are. The, I, I'm going to get some autographs tonight. <laughs> yeah. We insist. Yes. Now, where are you from, Howard? Um, I'm from here. And um, I actually, uh, I'm, I'm glad the uh, police event. Yes. is with us tonight because yes. um, yeah, I, I, was, uh, I was on the tech force 
Successful. I had a patented patent pending stuff. Um, it had unique features, so they bought mine for years. And uh, so I gave one to the city. And it's came down, demonstrated it, and then trained them how to use it. And, um, and I just really, really enjoyed uh, knowing knowing those gentlemen. They were wonderful. They're hard workers, and all of you, they're good people. We try to get young people involved. You know, we meet teachers, policemen, firemen. Yeah politicians, lawyers. I always say every profession, there's no perfect job. So there's Except good, there's bad, right? <laughs> you know, there's a couple perfect jobs, but every job's got to be Yeah. So it really, as you know, it really is not easy. So, but someone has to do it. They face a lot of uh, tough situations, people when they're not at their best. And oh, they can't be, imagine. They have to be good people, you know, and they should be good people. Yeah, yeah, you definitely uh, have to stay calm. Except when you shouldn't, I guess. But, uh, that's I know, all it's a big issue today. It's a big issue today. But they're heroes in my eyes, so that's good. Oh, it's so nice to talk to you, Howard. It's great to talk to you. Yeah, it's nice to talk to you. I hope I'm not taking yeah. them from the ambiance no. of their night. No, no, no you're no. contributing to it. Uh, yeah. Uh, going to be a fun night. We're, we're here, we do this every Friday. That's cool. And uh, we were at the staff for 11 years. And then Doug put us over here to keep it going while he's remodeling. Yeah, he's a great guy. Unbelievable. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I haven't met him. Howard met him. I met him Very once. Nice. Yeah, Very nice. Yeah. Very nice guy. I love what he's been doing. You know what's incredible? Just, he does, I mean, I'm not, I don't mean this in a disrespectful way to anyone. Like, I'll give you the example. Is the clerk's office is right, uh, my office is right near the old police station. And he oh, starts yeah. these projects and he completes them. I admire that. And he gets it As done. Like, I mean, many and you're like, projects. oh, that'll be a couple of years. That'll be five years. Or that'll be yeah. Because you know, we're so used to that type of development here in Western New York. True. And he That's just so done. And like, what he did with the Statler and just even the facade, that. No disrespect to the previous owner, he's a great guy, no. but that sat there and not in the best shape, and he's a good guy, but he comes in and yeah, yeah, fixes priorities. it. And, and, yeah. and, and I was like, wow, he's, he's a remarkable person. He's good at what he does, I'll have to tell you that much. He has imagination. It's too, amazing how, how many of seems to really to see Buffalo forward. with affection, which I guess is, is real. I mean, the way in the Statler, the way he put the pictures in the windows. I like that too. He creates these little museums and in the Seneca Tower he's got the little yes. museum of banking and you can look around and all he celebrates these, these like things. Even this building. All the important buildings that need to be... He can't believe them. Yeah. I things mean, he owns. I love this building. place. Me too. Yeah, yeah and I, I can't wait buildings. to see what he does. I mean, I'm sure it'll be. So sure. now we're learning to trust him because he's done good things when he when he painted the Seneca Tower and everyone kind of at first I, I remember like it was it. being talked about. I love it. I remember people were kind of talking about, oh, why is he painting this tower? And then everyone started saying, you know, I like it. <laughs> no, look, and yeah. what he did with the outside, he's... You know, I like he, it. He, he has a lot of... And he's changed people. the... Yeah, just that that whole... Um, the infrastructure surrounding it has changed, the little landscape surrounding it. It used to be kind of chilly. It's less chilly now. Yeah, that, I, I know that... That's what uh, Everything he does, it's just... So it's a, it's a, it's a nice... It's a, it's a really, really nice thing. Yeah. You know, Howard, we should do a little, we should do a little podcast. Ten minutes with Howard while you're out on the piano and talking to people. Invite him in and do a little podcast. <laughs> Funny ten, you minutes, that. ten minutes or twenty minutes with Howard. <laughs> Howard right. How about three or four hours? Yeah, I'm enjoying this conversation. Well, let's, let's, let's schedule it up. You'll be our first guest. I, well, invite me. Then yeah, it'll, I'll then give you my card. Be yeah. We got to get. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking. Collect some cards tonight. Yeah. yeah. Here, my favorite people are here. We can talk about Buffalo. We can talk about buildings. Okay. That sounds wonderful. Just, there's so much to talk about. 
and we all get to be privy to this conversation as part of it. It's a cool thing. It would be a cool that, thing just to talk, good idea, kind just of a to talk about, uh, to bring people in as guests and why people are sitting there. You could have a conversation. And, yeah, and people know. could send in questions in advance if there's anything. That's a good idea. It does, it does sort of break down the barriers a little bit when you've got a cocktail and a piano. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah, it's not like you're sitting in a some, TV Somebody zone. already making a fool of themselves, so it I kind of that makes it, like, okay for everybody else. They can't possibly, you know. Well, you know, the other thing, too, which is really good look is any worse, you, you can know? learn a lot about people by talking with them. Yes. And you learn a lot. Obviously, my father used to say you learn a lot by listening to people. But, uh, you, know, what, you know, a favorite song. Why is a song a favorite song to someone? You know, you know. It, you could it give could be three, very telling, yeah. Yeah, three yeah. questions. What's your that favorite song? That is a song? really good question. Yeah. yeah. Then you say, okay, but now tell us your real favorite song. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that's, you know, you can learn a lot about people. That could be a cool thing. Yeah, that's a great idea. But, and I already got it. This is well, why, that's right, you got this it. why I should have better been a instead of politics. <laughs> A cocktail Welcome. and a conversation. The cocktail, right. The bar cocktail and the ammo locker are open all night. That's a great idea. And we're going to advertise the guest in advance. I do the next a cocktail week. and a conversation. Yeah. Well, maybe we can make them wait to find out. Yeah, a cocktail and a conversation. Yes, this could we be the Somebody option. should take my mic away before we can. Okay. Before, before yeah. the party really starts. I'm going to get behind the party. No, I'm going to wind up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it. It's I'm going nice. to wind up in trouble tonight. No, That's what trouble. I'm saying. Don't get trouble. Guys have my back. They do. They're nice people too. Uh -huh. Very good. Well, good to see you, Howard. Well, great seeing you, Mickey. Good to see everybody. I'm glad everyone's having a nice Enjoy yourself. Relax. Thank you. Relax. <laughs> Thank you. Come <laughs> see us again. We'll be here. I, uh, I'm gonna come out. Well, he's gonna be our guest. Yeah. Our guest. I'm gonna be your first he's guest. guest. They get stuffy over there. Come over here. We'll this, prepare the interview. Well, this, unfortunately, this, I got about ten things tonight, which is not good. But oh, I, well, I, yeah, I guess that comes. But with I would like to come again. Like I said, this is truly. Please do. Yeah. One of my favorite. You don't even have to I love check. It too. We're here. I always love this every Friday, area. five to seven thirty. It's nice. And sometimes later. Depending it's on nice. It. Awesome. Unless Christmas falls on Friday. Unless Otherwise, we're here. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Well, thank you guys. Hey, yeah, anyone, do you guys want to go up here? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that bucket of ice looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Great Mickey Kearns, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's really interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't catch it. Erie County clerk. Oh, I didn't realize that. Can I tell them I really didn't judge you? He would be a great guest. That would be really fun. Sure he would. Hi. Hi, everybody. The good party's going to be over here. You got it. That's what I'm going to do. You know why, Actor Dave Lundy? Because Howard Goldman says yes to life. I think he could be on the actual, like, be, be you know, among the among the hosts to give us a little cred. We need, we need like, we need, you know, an actor, you know, we need a procurer, a president, a journalist, a BSer. Welcome to the Hyatt. This is your night. here. Your drummer was looking for you. These people are, are, are smart. They know how to ignore me.
this will be the true test. If, if they don't kick me out of this place after tonight, it means I can get away with just about anything. I haven't done anything yet. It's Ray Emmerman. Ray's out there too. It would be great to see Ray and Kim. The Art Tatum of car salesmen. That's Ray Emmerman. There's never been anybody like him. Police Benevolent Association. Nice to see you, gentlemen. Welcome. I think the bullets are going to be flying. Oh, you can do anything, Mickey. going to check all the uh, gun registrations. It's his job, <laughs> right? <laughs> County clerk. <laughs> gets a load of my plates. I got good plates. Ray Emmerman, are you out there? Ray Emmerman should be here. Now he would really complete the night. He's the missing ingredient that would really turn this into uh, expose the rods. I mean, anybody who says they want to be on the show has to be back because it's never happened before.
watching Lounge Academy. We're here at the Higher Regency, Buffalo. Welcome, welcome to the Hyatt. Turning that up until they give me a dirty look. disembodied voice of the piano player. We have your food and booze all set up for you. Big beautiful bar over here. Welcome police benevolence. don't go off. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to see you. Now they'll, they'll make it over. They know what they're doing here. They know how to. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you. Go check in and then come back back here where the real fun is. from the police department. Hope some of the old school folks are here. Love to see them. Sit wherever you like. Especially if you're cops. Especially if you're cops. All right. Some actual songs, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't played one yet. 
I think this is a record two, two hours in. This party is endorsed by Mickey Kearns, who gave it a seal of approval just minutes ago. Yeah? <laughs> I like that. Yes, you're in the right place. We have booze, we've got fancy little food things with toothpicks in them. Well, thank you. We've got the mom of a cop, a real one. All right, yes, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Who invented this world? Crystal. Welcome to the police party. I'd like to welcome Officer Beam. Nice to see you, sir. The best place to hide is in right in plain sight. They never look there. Are you on your way to another show business destination? And let's, let's, let's give it a little plug here. Oh, well, well what is, we, like, we like to throw a bone. Beauty and the Beast. At the Theater of Youth. That's a beautiful theater. They do nice work. Well, let us know how that is. I bet it's going to be great. Nice. Well, it's great that actor Dave Lundy stopped in to see us. Actor David Lundy, ladies and gentlemen, there he goes. He's off. He's off to another show business destination. Watch him glide down those steps. Of course, it's an escalator. But he is a graceful guy. You have to be to be an actor.
is my favorite part of the night every week here. The highest. It's the part of the night when everybody's cold sober. There's, there's advantages and disadvantages. There, there's a charm to each section of the night as it unfolds. Sinatra. Do you know that, Mary? This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. Sentimental overtures This heart of mine Is dancing gaily now Mary tastes the wine Of real romancing now This crazy world is taking out Wonderful design as long as life endures, it's yours, this heart of mine. This heart of mine, surrounded by people drinking beautiful looking drinks. What is that uh, precisely? It's beautiful. Sad and sum summer ale. It looks so refreshing. You know, a mound of sand would look refreshing to me right now. <laughs> Y'all done for the week, sir? sir. Yeah, it's horrible. It's a pain down your bed, down your... Oh, that is not fun. parking right at the door.
Yeah. Half the time they don't even charge people coming to Lounge Academy. Yeah. Yeah. Hand the keys to Charles down at the door and you're, all your troubles are over. Cy Coleman fan, as a lot of people are. I'm sentimental, so I walk in the rain. I've got some habits. can't explain I'll go away weekends we wind up in Spain why try to change me now I'll sit and I'll daydream I've got daydreams galore Cigarette ashes, there they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends, leave the keys in the door. Why try to change me now? Why can't I be? conventional people talk people stare so I try that's not for me cause I can't see my kind of crazy world go passing me by So let people wonder, let them laugh, let them frown, you know I love you, till the moon's upside down, don't you remember, I was always your friend. I try to change me. I try to change me. I try to change me. Now. Why try to rehabilitate me now? Here a lot. Yeah. Song for Mari. Good song. Nobody's gonna know it, but this is 
is a song, Mary, this is a song from on with the show. And it's, it's for the, the boys in blue, for the men in blue. It's called Am I Blue? Am I blue? You'd be too. for everybody who's blue. ball here at the Hyatt Regency, not just because it's Friday. Mr. Anderson is here. Nice to see you, Jay. All rise. Everybody, there's a politician here. His name is Ray Anderson. Jay Anderson, but he's in a different jurisdiction. Miss Mickey Kearns. Yeah, I, I have, I have evidence. He's here. He's gonna stop back. He's this one's for Dr. Fauci. I've got you under my skin. you under 
under my skin. I sacrifice anything, come what may, sake of having you near, in spite of the warning voice comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never could win. Use your mentality. Wake up to reality, Jay. But each time I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. I've got you. Oh, I got you. That's what these cops say when they catch the guy. Ooh, I've got you. Ooh, yeah. Under my skin, subcutaneously. A little Cole Porter, too. Shindig. I always wanted to be. I, I, was, I was at one of these once when Mark Croce was uh, hosting the venue many years ago. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of my old, old school Buffalo Police friends. Like, I hope they're here. They gotta be here. Like H. McCarthy Gibson. guys I used to work with, the guys I used to train in uh, interdiction. Yeah I, yeah, I used to manufacture law enforcement gear, and, and I, I trained law enforcement. You wouldn't think, like, out of all these, these butch guys, you know, like, I'm the guy. I used to have to really, I used to really beat them up, though, because if you showed any weakness, I knew I'd be through. And then they'd return it, and I'd have to write them a big check, a big refund check. So, so I stepped up. But I got to learn a lot about them. We'd have conversations every day, and I'd hear little bits about, especially the, the undercover guys out in the field. Because they were the ones they'd sneak in and put my gear under the guy's car, and then call me for help, you know. And, and, uh, they got balls, these guys. Welcome, gentlemen. Your drinks are waiting. It's been a long week. Especially with those chases I saw going on. Singer right here, live on WBIG TV, ladies and gentlemen. The party's getting thick and exciting. If you're going to rob a bank, do it now. All the cops are right here. How little we know, how much to discover. Horses flow from lover to lover. How little we understand what touches off that tingle. Two tingles intermingle. Who cares? 
is to define what chemistry this is. Who cares with your lips on mine? What ignorant bliss is. So long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters, how little it matters, how little we know. Thank you. That was for Jay Anderson, big politician from Amherst. I made him turn red. It's not good to do that to a politician, except Jay. Jay can get anything done. I don't care what, what town you're supposed to be in. You can reach over and just make things happen. I've seen it. are all afraid of me. They don't know they've already dealt with me in the past. And law enforcement technology, Inc. Yeah. Just like cops have, they've got the cop cams. I've got, pianists need them too. We need it for forensic evidence. This is a great group we've got here tonight, Jay. I've never felt so safe. when we used to sit around the table with Carl Palladino. Then you feel safe, right? You know nothing's gonna hit the fan when he's in control of things. Has anybody seen H. McCarthy Gibson tonight? Is he here? I'd love to see him. If you see him, send him over here. We're old buddies. We used to work together. Yeah, he put me on the tech squad years ago. Yeah, I was the GPS guy. If you were ever doing drug interdiction, that was my gear. Yeah. It's obsolete now, but we, we got a good run out of it. So I still got, I still got the Pelican cases. That, <laughs> you repurpose everything. Nothing goes to waste.
passionate music. Because we've got a room full of passionate people. Oh, that isn't the song. I'm not sure. I didn't know the verse to it. Then you were mine. Is that Matt Dennis? Matt Dennis. Matt Dennis did that song really well. Um, that, what, that isn't one of his... Uh, Rogers and Hart, okay. song. We're trying, we're trying to keep it thematic. We play to the crowd. No, that isn't it. That's a good one, though. Here's, here's for all the ambitious people out there. Because you never know when they're gonna, who's going to be the next H. McCarthy Gibson. Or Dennis Richards, where's... I hope Dennis Richards is here tonight. And Dan Dorenda. I miss... I miss those guys. Rocco Dina. I know his brother, Tom. He's a good piano player. Real good, good musician. And and Tracy. Tracy Dinner? The daughter? Is it Trace Tracy? Nice girl. If I ruled the world. This is for Jay Anderson. He's gonna if anybody's gonna rule the world, it's gonna be this guy. It's gonna be that. Except he's too smart to be the next president. Who would want that job? I guess Jay would. I could see it. <laughs> if I ruled the world, every day would be the first day of spring. Every heart would have a new song to sing and we'd sing of the joy every morning would bring if I rule the world every day would be every man would be as free as a bird Every heart would get a voice to be heard. Take my word, we would treasure each day that occurred. My world would be a beautiful place. the moon. 
man would say the world was his friend. There'd be happiness that no man could end. You know, my friend, not a I do, okay? I gotta admit it. My own little world. Comments from the home viewership. Audrey Clark, nice to see Audrey. Crystal Everdyke, tilt Mary's camera. people are out there tonight. Most of them are here because usually our whole audience is the Buffalo Police Department. and registration. Paul rolls down the window and says, I can't give you anything but love. That's the only thing I have plenty of. Dream a while, scheme a while, we're sure to find happiness and a guess. All those things you always find for cheap. To see you looking swell. Doesn't sell my baby till that lucky day, you know darn well. 
Well, baby, I can't give you anything but love. Bracelets Woolworth doesn't sell my baby till that lucky day. You know darn well, baby. I can't give you anything all but love. What's his first name, Jay? It's not Victor. Yeah. Jason. Jason, okay. I've never heard that one before, but I'm going to use it. What's much better, Crystal? Oh, thanks. Oh, the camera. Okay. Once I lived the life of a millionaire. Spent all my money. Didn't have any care. Took all my friends out. Liquor, champagne wine. Then I began to fall so low. Lost all my good friends, nowhere to go. If I could get my hands on that dollar. Again, 
I'd hang on to it till that old eagle grins. Cause nobody knows you. When you're down and out In your pocket Not one penny And as for friends Jay, you haven't any When I get back on when you get back on your feet again, everybody wants to be Jay's long lost friend. I set it straight without any doubt. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you, nobody knows you, when you're down and out. That's for everybody that's pension was in the stock market this week. Surprise chord there at the end for you, Jay. Got to up the game when Jay's around. Well, just in case you don't come back, I got to get it all in tonight. Oh, Paul Cambria. He hasn't been to this location yet. He came to the last location, and the location before that, he came to our place, the mansion. And, well, it's on ice right now. It's just on ice. They were, but um, they, they, they shouldn't have made any plans because the tourism thing went, like, down the drain, and... I came up smelling like a rose. Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Kearns is in the room. He's going to be checking all the gun registration numbers. Kristen has a great, a great spread set for everybody in the big banquet room. It's making me hungry just thinking about it. And you're requested to guzzle your drinks and carry armloads of drinks. 
next next door over here to the big event room and uh, continue to carry on. You are ordered to evacuate this premises and get on to the next the next phase of the party in the in the room next door. I'm trying to use police terms that they understand, right? Ordering them to evacuate the premises. Mickey, you too, thank you, thank you. Mr. Evans, pleasure, sir. I was telling about your background with your work with UPS. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. nice to meet you. Oh, nice. What a... <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Must have it. Yeah. You are all ordered to evacuate this premises and eat a big dinner in the room next door. Don't make me throw you out. And as soon as everybody's gone, we're going to continue on. We get the gossip about everybody because this is Reality Piano Bar. And we're here every Friday, even if you're not having an event. Right, Brian Van Horn? to welcome Alex Leonard to the show. Always oh, a great honor. I have to, I have to, I've been, I've been ordered to purposely not be entertaining right now so that everybody goes next door and, and uh, gets their, gets their dinner. It's going to be great. And they're going to, they're going to bring me their doggy bags. Remember your piano player when they're handing out those doggy bags next door at the end of the evening? He's eating at the bar? Yes. So I sat down next to him. Did he order something or is he just. Yeah, he's eating sliders. Oh. Sounds great. Those seats at the bar are really low. It's funny to sit down. So you're I've like. Yeah, the bar is way up here. And Ryan oh. said he had never sat down. There. They're probably counter height chairs and bar height bar, I'm guessing. Is that yeah. is that the situation or is it counter so height? Low seats. The seats are, are the seats like, like those? Maybe or are they like. Height. And the, there's three is, heights. I've learned this. Yeah, there's three heights counter, in the uh, like food seats, seats service like industry. Yeah, Like the, the chairs we have um, at the mansion are counter height. Oh, yeah. That's why they were nice at the piano, but at the yeah. bar, you felt like you were in elementary school. Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. We'll have to go down and see This is fun. This is a nice night with these people. Have a great dinner. Are there any cherries left over? <laughs> I can hear the rockets starting next door. That's right. Nice job over there at the bar. You're really getting hit. Makes the night go quicker. You were really working. I saw you over there. <laughs> Someday I'm going to find third gear. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe that's it. <laughs> no, well, thank you. I didn't get to see any of my old, got to see Mickey Kearns, that was fun. Yeah. Um, and the head of the union. gentleman that he introduced me to. Boy, what a job he's got. Can you imagine the stuff that hits your desk? I said, oh, wonderful. He goes, yeah, wonderful. <laughs> it looks like he's had it. are here tonight and that's why I didn't see didn't the brass. The police, but never so maybe it's ma union. so maybe but they I I thought I've been to some of these like when Pro Prochi I'm sure there are always other and people. and the some of the brass would show up. Because because the it probably depends on the, the temperature at the time, you know. get the newspaper, the guild things, the brass usually didn't go, right? No, I was just going to say, the brass often did go. They often did go. Yeah, it was always a union thing. They thought they were welcome. Every time. So that's what made me think that maybe he couldn't be there tonight. As soon as I was just looking at him. Look at these two guys scheming stuff up. Two politicians. They're going to start the next Illuminati. Okay, you're the first one. You got it because it was your idea. You get credit whether it's good or bad, right, Holly? You know everybody, Jay. does all, all, yeah, you're right, all roads lead, lead to the, come to think of it. Good job, Kristen, that was a great party. Nobody, nobody got hurt, especially me. I was putting my neck out a little bit. Till midnight, really? Oh, that's a, that's a few drinks from now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's union. They think I'm, yeah, they think I'm executive. Because I was wearing a white shirt. See, if I had a blue shirt on or something, or no tie, I'd get tips. They think I'm the owner. You don't tip the owner. At least that, those were the rules growing up. Nobody pays attention to that anymore. No, At a restaurant or someplace, tip you tip the owner. If the guy's sitting there grilling your burger, you, right? It doesn't matter if he owns the place. <laughs> She's taking her cell phone. So that's the newest Apple product right there. It's the newest Apple iPhone she's carrying. I'm rolling a six. Nice. Yeah. I've got like seven of them here. I'm using them for my production work. Not none of them are Apple, so I, I had a my first smartphone was it was an iPhone. The original one. Yeah, I still have it. It's cool. Eventually. Now, I think we're past that. Where are we? 20, 20, oh yeah, 21, 100, yeah. Look at this thing. It wasn't even in, how did they fit that in your head? It's just it's so nice. You know, that's Elon's third Yeah. But he's a benevolent dictator. Well, that's the other.
other guys. I guess everybody wants that. But I'd like to live forever just as a healthy, normal biological thing, or at least longer, you know. But turning into a robot or transplanting your mind into a machine, that, that sounds like a scam, you know? Like, it's not really gonna be you. It might fool your relatives, you know? Like in the old movies. Well, luckily, I age very slowly. Plus, you know, who's to say you don't live forever? My dad used to point, of course, he's not around anymore, but he used to point out that, um, now, is this, he said it, so I believed it. Um, statistically, said more people throughout history have been born and never died than have died. There's more people living right now than have ever lived and died. So he used that uh, math formula, math example, to uh, make his case that there's really no evidence that uh, we're going to die. I wish he was around to explain it a little further. But, 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 but he didn't fall into the right side of that formula. Well, yeah, I mean, in a uh, corporal sense, yeah. He might be haunting the Statler. That was his place, yeah. Well, some people think it is. Spooks don't talk to me, so I wouldn't know, because they don't, they just... They don't like me. I mean, they just, I'm just a wallflower to them. I've never been contacted. They never write, they never call. Could be, yeah. Makes them glad they're not around anymore. Well, thank you for, I'm, I'm really glad you showed up tonight. And I wish you could stick around, but I don't want to be a, an annoying Klingon. Where are you headed to next? Home, the kids are waiting for you? Or? What, do you have a wall phone? Do you have me home to answer the phone? Do you have a long coil cord on it? like the one we got my mom so she could cook while she was on the phone. Because we're a modern, we're, we're into women's lib. So we got our longer cord. She was tethered to that thing. She was like we are now, she was ahead of our time. She was on the phone all the time, you know, but it was on the cord. Yeah. Yeah, we had a guy, a man come down with a longer cord from the phone company. The whole kitchen covered the whole kitchen. It was. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. You're like a walking Rolodex. I used to have a Rolodex. In fact, I still have it. I should reinstitute it, redeploy it. I, yeah, that's a. Mary did that. some sliders. Be careful, keep off that foot. Take the escalator. Have a nice night.
needs breakage. <laughs> Jay Anderson, ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States. This guy is going places, you watch. Right now he's going out of the Hyatt. Have all you want, Jay. some grapes. Mary, get me some grapes. I'm due for a break anyway. It's important to take breaks at the right time, like before a bunch of people come in and you wind up stuck for three hours not being able to take a break. Are those people coming back? Um, I don't know, but you never know who's going to come in at any moment.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a little special presentation for you. As you can hear it, a bagpipe uh, it just suddenly stopped. Hope everybody's okay. Mickey Kearns show. Just think of the trouble we could yeah, get into. We should we, uh, we could, um, we, we should get Steve Seashan on the show too. That's a good idea. We wanted to be edgy and really attract well, an audience. And they could have a follow up post election debate. Yeah. You know, like, okay. How'd you do? You know? Yeah, how'd you do? <laughs> yeah. I think that's Steve Seashan's a great guest too. I mean, yeah. he's brilliant. He could be on the Especially that one. I mean, just because they ran, had a, an actual race. He was, Steve was in the money. Yeah. That was a serious, serious race for sure. Well, who's running? I have not been following uh, any really politics. We'll be, instead of spectrum, we'll be rectum. News from the lounge piano. So it'll be uh, celebrity interviews, people in power. We break them right down, right around the piano bar. We're all equals around the piano. <laughs> Those 88 notes on the piano. And if you're sitting around the piano, that's all anybody could get. Doesn't matter who you are. It's a great equalizer. I like that, I like that, that's a nice concept. Yeah, it's a great idea. And who's going to count? Nobody. So, you know. Are we going to have people send in questions in advance, too? We've got a special guest next week. That's a good idea. We'll become influencers. Carrying a rifle, I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna do me in. Here it comes. Check this out, Ryan. Thank goodness, I thought they were coming back because a couple of my jokes. scary when they're carrying a rifle and they don't laugh at your joke.
Yeah, I could use that. We're sitting here enjoying the afterglow of the police party. <laughs> So good because some rough, rough guys in there, right? They were, they looked like the real deals, you know. I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to tell a, a bad joke and really get them upset. Yeah. I, Watching Lounge Academy. We just had a big party for the police. It was a ball. These guys were great. Star studded group. We had David, actor David Lundy join us. Politician and great guy, Jay Anderson. Sounded great. Yeah, it sounded real good, guys. This is the musicians' lounge. Sit down and relax. Well, we don't check. Heard of that band? I'd like to thank Alex Leonard this evening and Crystal Everdyke. Two of my close show business friends. turning the room. <laughs> Should we do some uh, search and destroy? Here's a Gershwin song that has the name of our president in it, and this was written in uh, 1930. How did they know? I'm biding my time. That's the kind of guy I'm. While others grow dizzy, I'm keeping busy. I'm biding my time. Next year, next year, 
Something's bound to happen This year, this year I'll just keep on napping I'm biding my time That's the kind of guy I There's no regretting When I'm setting I'm biding my time That's a song from Girl Crazy show in 1930 by the Gershwins brothers. They wrote a lot of the good stuff of that, that time, sure for sure. Yeah. They could use that for his uh, election song. Another Gershwin song that is a little more memorable than that one. I would think. They're writing songs of love. Not for me. Stars above, but not for me. Lead the way. I found more clouds of gray than any Russian play. You allowed to say Russian? Can guarantee. That way, I hold a last and now so wax a day. No, I can't dismiss the memory of her kiss. Friday nights, 5 to 7.30 officially. Short break first, and then we'll do some uh, some Bill Evans selections.
We got another request to summertime. summertime but. But, but beautiful. Yes. Beautiful bot. got a request for a little opera. Of course, the opera is Porgy and Bess, so don't worry. Won't be too stuffy. 
our friend was in the original production of Porgy and Bess. Bess. Yeah, we had a friend. Yeah, yeah, no, no joke. Al Tinney. Was he really? Yeah, he let yeah. Stay. He was a, a child, he was a and he he was uh, Gershwin's yeah. rehearsal yeah. pianist yeah. for the original show. He was a, this, and um, and, he let the goat out and then they pulled him off. They had him the scene where they led the goat out. Yeah, with he, the, he was the kid out. leading the goat out. Goat. Yeah. He was a great, when great old guy. Yeah. He went on to be part of the bebop revolution. Actually centered around Al Tinney. Part of the great Buffalo jazz heritage. He came to Buffalo to sell shoes. Give this one a try. I don't know. I don't think we've ever done this, but everyone's familiar with it. It's a great song. request. So hush, little baby. Nice people that know music.
Thank you, Al Wallach. Play that funky music, white boy. Al, Al Wallach, we had such a party tonight. You missed such a party. We had, we had, the place was full of, of police. The whole police force was down here for their gala. Union Gala. Right? They were great. They had the Scottish band. They had the Scottish band. Pipes and drums and guns. Ryan sneak off, or is he just uh, refueling? Oh, there he is. He was beyond my peripheral vision. So, um, so Ryan, we didn't do enough gossiping tonight here on Reality Piano Bar because we had we were distracted by a huge audience. Well, um, did you happen to see uh, in the paper? In one of the papers, I think it was Business First, um, they announced a, a, a new restaurant for the Hyatt. It's going to be the Bull Plus Buffalo. Bull Plus. For EB Greens, yeah. Bull, you, well, the name of the restaurant is going to be Bull Plus Sign Buffalo. Right, but I mean, is there somebody's identity? Yeah, the... Um, Paul Snyder Jr.? Or no, it's um, somebody, they... Uh, his, is it Chris? Uh, I'm sorry, I, yeah, I can't... I, do, you, do you remember the, the <laughs> gentleman? I know what you like. Okay, um... Uh, some somebody we we did we don't know, um, but uh, Buffalo knows them as far as court, in a corporate matter because uh, they got him from uh, Delaware North, where he was. He opened like 500 restaurants for a Delaware North company, and, and he's got a. I don't think it has any. I don't. I don't know that it has anything to do with Delaware North. Um, but interestingly, the um, the business uh, publication that did did the story didn't identify ownership. Yeah, it's that's you know. I mean, if I I would in a business publication, I don't I don't like to pick on. They probably had a reason, you know. What do I know? But if um, if it was confidential, I would just I would I would include it in the story and say that um, you know they're not releasing the you know the actual you know ownership uh, structure uh, at this point, just just the uh, restaurant itself. Confidential. Or confidential? Yeah, it is. It's right. No big deal. But but to not address it. You, you read the story like five or six times trying to find the information and it's, I don't I don't think it's there I maybe I missed it after all I don't know but anyway it's a mystery not not that it's a big deal but so I, I don't know if um, you know I don't I don't know if, uh, if Douglas development owns it or, or the Hyatt owns it or or this uh, gentleman who's they brought in if it's his his puppy you know or uh, but but the, sure he's a professional uh, per, yeah, man for the I job I mean very impressive resume yeah no doubt it's going to be a beautiful restaurant well well the part they wrote about the plants is that because is that what stood out in your mind they talked about uh, adding a lot of plants um, Actually, um, 
they were talking about this space, Brian, and this is where it comes around to, to involve us. what I thought. But now it makes me wonder if that wasn't, because I was trying to like, I'm looking at the uh, depiction that they had, and the background did not seem to okay. jive. Like if it was over there and you were looking out the windows, you'd see like Baggage. a century, whatever that is. Uh, Baggage. Um, <laughs> century bar. Was that a big drum in there? Parking lot. Yeah. And it looked more like. I thought maybe the artist was taking liberties hmm. with things that would be across the street that would really be immaterial to, the, to their design. But um, maybe maybe it was this this part. I don't know. But, but it'd be it'd be kind of fun if um, for the big uh, you know, big restaurant going on, you know, and uh, just to add to the. Uh, Lounge Academy experience, I think uh, it could be pretty cool. Yeah. Is there any talk of, of what it's going to be and what it's going to be like? Yeah, it's in the, it's in the business first. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, it's, it looks, looks real nice. They're, they're lightening it up, the color scheme. And the artist's rendering looked I mean, it looked beautiful. You know, they had done, they did a bunch of things with the scene. E.B. Green's was great as it was, well, I think. Oh, yeah. I, me too. Yeah. I love E.B. Green's. But, um, you know, they like to put their own, people like to put their own concept yeah. in. Honestly, I, well, of course, I would never have probably gone to E.B. Green's had it not been for Jackson. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't See, either. I knew him. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Give uh, Paul Snyder credit. He said, when, "Brilliant man." When he, well, no, when he was deciding whether to get out, he said, "This is Jocko's home." Yeah. And without Jocko, it's not going to be. Right. Home. And he said, I agree. And he yeah, was right on. 
Served its purpose because it added to the dining experience for the Houston Steakhouse. You know? mm -hmm. But as far as um, to do a piano bar, it'd be, it'd be wonderful if like that was the concept. You know, so all the space is devoted to that, and along with the with the food, you know, available yeah. from the kitchen and the bar. Um, what's not to like? You know. Oh yeah. So whatever though. Yeah. It's all great. It's all a dream, really. Yeah. You, know, you reminded me of a Jacko story when you were saying this. <laughs> you, know, you know how... Uh, okay, I'm going to sign off first. He wandered know, all over the country. Room. You knew his story. Through yes. his career? Yes. He went he all over the country and he found a piano bar. Yes. He went. Good night, everybody. And one day he's, he's saying... I'll uh, see you next week. Right. Did you ever hear... He knew I knew Next week on Friday, same here. place, same yeah. time. We're going to yeah. have a ball. We're going to have a blast. You ever heard of a guy yeah. named yeah. Del Rice? Yeah. Association. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. He was a catcher for the again next week. St. Louis Cardinals. We heard from the higher team yeah. yeah. in the 50s. Buffalo. We're so we uh, said I was, he was at my bar. We're signing off with our co-host, Ryan and Mary. And he said, Jack, I'll see you again. Don't go anywhere.